fun. Let's take a look then. I'm going to read to you today something I've been working on, well, for many decades, I would say, really, but more intensely and specifically in the last four months. I've reviewed it with a lot of people around the world. I. Does no one else see that this guy came back fucked up from his benzo addiction? Like, I, it's one of those things that it can be kind of fucked up to even speculate about and talk about, but I feel like we're also just not fucking, like, look, I'm not saying he's more wrong than he was before, but he doesn't obviously seem both unhinged in a lot of ways, but like his speech patterns have changed in a lot of ways. His facial expressions and constant need to bare his teeth when he's expressing anger. Like, he's got I don't a, know. It's, I, I think a combination of that and like the, the raw meat diet that he's been on for how long now? Is he still doing that? I'm fairly certain he's still doing the carnivore diet. It's not, he's not doing raw meat. He's doing, yeah, carnivore. He's still cooking them. He's not doing it raw. That's uh, That was somebody else trying the raw shit and then turned out to have a giant tapeworm. Imagine um, that. Yeah, and it, and for a long time, it was always, I think, sirloins. Sir, like, specifically sirloin steaks. Which, you know, that's a diet I could get on. It's called a conservative manifesto, and it's an attempt to begin the process of outlining a positive vision for the future on the center, right, and classic liberal front on the center right classic liberal front then why what what about conservative is center right and classic liberal i mean classical liberalism is like classical liberalism the way that like sargon of akkad has it uh is right the way they've tried to yeah it's yeah, basically yeah, conservatism dishes. Right, the way they've tried to sort of go, well, you know, liberalism, da 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 da. But then you have those people who you'd still say are like, even Bill Maher. You wouldn't put Bill Maher on the right, even though he keeps socially trying to broadcast to them. Um, uh, those are more the people who are encapsulating some of that in a more authentic way. I'm not a liberal, so I'm not. I'm not trying to hype up classical liberalism. Just the concept of just going straight to conservative with even the center right is a bit. Is a bit interesting i decided to entitle it a conservative manifesto i played with the title something approximating a manifesto of canonical western virtues but i felt that was a weaker title and i also felt that it was time to make a statement on the metaphysical level let's say on the this feels like a coming out video side. without being a coming out video he is just wildly awful. Uh, let me f see. what. How far back would we even have to go? Just to see if anybody else sees the contrast that I feel like I see. Dark Beast, think of the 100 uh, bits. What's that? Uh, oh, bits. Yeah, bits. Is he giving you bits so that we'll continue on to butts? Uh, Get I think the, the bits for the butts. Bits I think for the butts were just in general. No, I'd like to hear more Bits of the uh, for butts .com. the Jordan Peterson video itself oh, I, after the. Uh, I want comparison. to make this message short and study, and more likely to be successful while doing so. The program appears to work. If you want some help with your resolutions, consider using it. You can find the future authoring program on the self-authoring. Maybe he just sucks at reading scripts because I feel like this isn't showing as big a contrast as I think when I think about him on stage doing shit like this. The next, enough blood in them. They're just not what they should be. You're not putting your full heart into it. And as a consequence, you're not reaping the, fee the you're not reaping the crop that you might otherwise sow. I feel like and this shows the contrast more. Again, not in that he seems more correct back then, just He just seemed more fucking, lucid back then. He just seems so unhinged now, just absolutely, even Rogan called out like how nuts he went over fucking uh, Rogan, who's like his biggest fanboy, called out how nuts he went over the uh, the plus size model on the on the front of Sports Illustrated. So that was kind of fucking wild. I'm curious what uh what else was in there in that conservative manifesto video because we got like we got 50 seconds. They didn't get a chance to say too terribly much yet. I don't know if there'd be anything of substance because it's you know Peterson. Not that soon, yeah, either. Like, he buries the lead for sure, and you gotta, gotta wait. Hello, everyone. Let's see. 
You've got chapters. Introduction, which takes eight minutes. Humility, most replayed. Okay, we'll check that out. I don't know why he calls it that, but that's interesting. Or maybe maybe that's an automatic one from YouTube. Let's go look at these. Yeah, let's let's see what this humility these small segments. Is. Humility. <laughs> humility is the opposite of the prideful authoritarian arrogance that insists upon the possession of comprehensive and final skill and knowledge. To revere humility is to accept the insufficiency of current presumption. Boy, I gotta tell you, if you're gonna broadcast humility and to the conservatives, my God, don't go to a MAGA rally. I feel like you're, you might become disillusioned by accident. Not to mention- To acknowledge the value I, it feels like when he's talking about humility, he's talking about people who are talking about uh, like settled sciences. I feel like mm. he's had one too many conversations about gender and he's just like, stop, stop saying you know what you're talking about. Have humility. I know what I'm talking about. You're wrong. Of attending to what is not yet known. In fact, I love this with his, his whole, uh, it, I, I just think of the example of him being on, I think it was Rogan's podcast, and saying that people who are transgender are transgender because of a lack of creative outlet. And then Joe Rogan says, you really think that? And he goes, no, I know it. I know <laughs> that. The hum irony. Humility. Humility. Listen to, value, and attempt to truly understand the opinions of others, no matter how ill-formed, to strive to gain further knowledge and to convince and invite yeah, I, instead of insisting me. and compelling. Let's go to this most replayed part. Wants of the individual. Liberty is valuable because it allows all free and unique people the opportunity to best confront the potential of the future. I to see what this is. It's so going to be, because he's become such a capitalist fanboy cheerleader. The reason why this is replayed often is it's being mined as a quote for pro-capitalist people that are going to be i mean he may even say capitalism here in a second I, but they're I can just gonna see what they're just gonna hear into. this as like a manifest destiny type of thing for just right for it's entre literally for like entrepreneurs oh, to get all the muns if you look at his other the other parts that have peaks down here it's in the agency section there's a peak there's the responsibility section which has a peak and then there's and then the tradition, tradition. I'm I'm so curious what's in the tradition section because sure aside from being just a giant fallacy there's a little bit of a peak in justice and then tradition let, let me let's get to his full peak here. to engage in the voluntary productive reciprocal interactions that make peaceful mutually sustaining social life possible that just sounds like exchanging to speak money the truth that redeems and re I told you it'd be a capitalism little love letter for news and to adopt the responsibility of citizenship and ethical endeavor. Liberty enables people to think authentically and without arbitrary constraints, privately and publicly. Li without arbitrary constraints, privately that, and publicly. But by the way, don't you dare transition. Don't you a, dare be your authentic self. This just sounds ever. like this just sounds like shower thoughts after you've had you've you've talked to a bunch of uh, sociology professors and you're t you're sick and tired of it just the irony all right we'll we'll check that tradition spot out what is that is a perfect thumbnail where we just oh, were did I, did I lose it? it he looked like uncle sam no he was bent over like uh, that one right there that is so I perfect want you. he looks like uncle sam just being up oh I'm, boy I'm clipping that and I'm sending that to Yara for making a thumbnail. 31 minutes, 21 seconds is the timestamp. If you need to get it back again. Oh no, I just back. I just used a light shot to grab it. I have it forever. Nice. <laughs> was equal before the law and of divine intrinsic worth is inextricably associated with the presumption of the sovereign citizen. Oh no. As well as the associated insistence <laughs> that the stability of the state rests upon the careful and truthful judgment of that citizen. 
The idea that honest and untrammeled discourse among men and women of goodwill. What's funny is what he's saying there won't actually be used in its original context. It's just going to be used by sovereign citizens because he had the absolute lack of foresight to use that phrase when it is so specifically charged. When he's basically, I think, just trying to say that there needs to be a recognition from the government that what they do has to be endorsed by its citizens, which is technically true. Instead, he uses such stupid phrasing to dog whistle to the the stupidest parts well, of our society. Frankly. Considering also that like sovereign citizens are one of the people who are known to be so it's it's not pedantry, it's cherry picky. They're very cherry picky with language, in it because there's this idea among so many sovereign citizens that there's like. For instance, magic words you can say if a police officer pulls you over that suddenly absolves you of anything you were doing. Um, if you, yeah, I don't right, right. like if you've ever watched. Sovereign I was not driving. I was traveling. Yeah, I was traveling, which is my uh, my right per the United States Constitution. Uh, I I am allowed police a right to travel. Officer should bring a basketball referee with them, <laughs> <laughs> and just when they say that, the referee just ah, you're arrested for traveling. <laughs> I just I I used to have a friend who was a sovereign citizen and he tried to like convince me of all of this stuff like the United States is a corporation um you can't yeah. be told you can't drive like all this stuff and I'm just like dude none of that matters I've been in a courtroom I know what happens when you try to just challenge that stuff on your own you get laughed at you you don't used have the authority you think you have used to be friends what possibly could have happened awkwardly it was uh them getting banned from facebook and then never us uh, never finding a way to recontact each other okay all right fair that, enough, fair that enough. was it fair enough fair enough fair enough all right uh we'll check out the